How much is that one, please? Three. I'll take that, thank you. Paid three pound for this, and there is solds for a hundred pound on eBay. A hundred quid for this. We're at a tabletop sale in Colwyn Bay. Not been to a tabletop for ages. I've not been anywhere for ages, but because it was a 10 o'clock start, I thought I'd give it a go. <clears throat> yeah, so let's go in there. We'll see if we can find anything good. And we'll report back afterwards. How much are your pots? That's a very good question. My mother-in-law is not here right now. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, she is. <laughs> How much do you sell the plankos for, Pops? Uh, they're four pounds each. Four each. Do you do a tenner for the three? I will. Lovely, thank you. Hey, Dobby, I know you. <laughs> there you go. Thank, thank you, you very much, much. appreciate it. Buttons this side to switch it on. Oh, is it this one? If you don't want to do fine, you can do it. Okay. And it does go along. It whizzes around, doesn't it? Yeah. I've seen one before. How much is it? Uh, a tenner. Oh, no. Go on then, I'll do it. Yeah. What is it? Oh. Similar English. looking, not quite the same colouring though, is it? Is it? It's a good question. £7.50? You go a fiver? Yeah. Lovely, thank you very much. Oh, is it? Oh, lovely, that's good. Yeah, nice one. Right. Yeah. Oh, I, have you got any notes? Or? No. No, okay, let me see what I've got. I did see him. I did see him. Try wizard cut and the and um, thing. Is that one, please? Three. I'll take that, thank you. Thank you. How much is your mug? Four. Do you free on it? I'm free. Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah, I'm struggling a bit on change here. Yeah. 
How much is your cookie monster? Chloe, are you selling this cookie monster? She's disappeared. Oh, so. do, do we have to buy and run? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just still with. Are we literally buying a, a toy from a child? No, because it was. It was on there, she's taken them off. Oh, right. <laughs> it does still work, I just can't find the button, but. Oh. Okay. Take the bread. Yeah. <laughs> well, not that. Oh, that's a problem. That's a, my arm's not working very well, dear. I can't pick it up. Cute little cup set. Mm, how much are you, Mug? Uh, it's a five or four. Oh, all together. Ah, man. Yeah, I don't know what's up with my arm today. That's quite a heavy duty poster. Half moon day. Yeah, good. Mm. I've never been used. Yeah. 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 You take four quid for him? Uh, yeah, I can. Yeah. Well, the cold um, so it together. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, yeah. What's that? Don't know. What's your mini? Is that for sale? Yeah. Big one. I don't know how much. <laughs> Cause I'm not used to this sort of thing. How much do you want for it? Fiver? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. It's not been out of packaging, but it's just been... Have you got five? But my partner's just Oh, is it bath bombs? You think it was chocolate? Yeah. <laughs> Zoltan. Oh, that's neat. Zoltan. Little mini Zoltan. That's well. How much is that one? Two pounds. Two pounds. It works on those little cards inside. That's cool. Well. Love that. Yeah, I'll take that. That is really nice. <laughs> Does that bring you back memories from when we actually went to Yeah, we, we, we have Zolta. been to a proper Zolta. Yeah. Yeah, in yeah. San Francisco. Uh, was it San Francisco? It was, yeah, yeah. Uh, on the pier. Yeah. Thank you. Your wish wasn't very good, though, was it? I don't know. <laughs> what, okay. How much are your tarot cards? How much are your cards? Uh, Any more? Is it just this one? I'll take that one. Are any of your polishes the gel ones that you need the light with, or are they all just... Oh, you mean like the gel? No. Yeah, they all just they like just... natural dry. Yeah, yeah, they are, yeah. It does work, I can demonstrate if you want. So it's iPod, CD... Yeah, it's... The, the old style yeah. connector. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll put it 32 in. pin, I think. Yeah, it is the old style. Yeah, you can. I've got one at home. I put a new, uh, I put a new battery in the remote this morning. Uh, 
so that opens the iPod dock. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we need an adapter. But yeah. also works. There's an auxiliary. Yeah, you can plug in with the... Uh, you, yeah, you plug in with a, a 3.5... Adapter jack adapter thing. Adapter in yeah. the auxiliary. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, and then you fiddle about. I think it's on the radio one. There's different options. It includes that. So How much is it? I was thinking a fiver. I'll take it for a fiver. Will you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. No, that's fair. Um, and then the CD... Um, that's for the CD. Cool. Oh, yeah, nice. I'll take that. Yeah. Hey folks, we are back from the tabletop sale in uh, Old Colwyn. And um, this is what I picked up here. It was only a small sale, as you could probably see from the footage. But sometimes, um, you know, you can still pick up some great stuff. Especially if there's you know, not many other resellers there and stuff, you know. So an array of stuff, a lot of toys, but let's start over here. This really big um, Disney Store Minnie Mouse. Uh, actually still got original tag there on the ear as well. Uh, paid £5 for that. I'm thinking uh, £20-£25 possibly on that one. Uh, this is nice as well. This is a Cookie Monster Puppet Plush. So you stick your hand in his back there. And um, when you do so, you can operate his mouth. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, one pound paid, I think is worth about 15-ish. Uh, what else do we have? We've got the White Rabbit um, mug. Paid three pound for it. I probably paid too much, really, but uh, nice lady on the stall. I thought I'd just have it. She did say four pound first, but... Um... Possibly worth about 10 to 12 pound ish, something like that. It's never been used by the look of it. Um, what else do we get? Okay, we've got this trail camera. This is one of these cameras that you plot up like on a on a tree or something, and it catches wildlife, things like that. Um, I've got another one of these in my death pile somewhere, and I can't think where it is. It's gonna be Hidden away in a box somewhere. Paid £5 for this. Uh, it does come with a memory card in there and stuff. And it's got the manual. I think it's worth around the £30 mark. A Betty Boop Bone China mug. That's the design on the mug. Um, people collect Be Betty Boop. Not sure why, but... Uh, yeah, very collectible. But uh, at the same time, eBay is flooded with this stuff. Um, might put it on Whatnot or something like that. Uh, worth somewhere between ten and twelve pound, I think. Uh, paid one pound for it. Oh, this is cool! Look at this. It's a, a mini Zoltar machine. How good's that? Zoltar speaks. We went to a proper Zoltar in uh, San Francisco, at a fair, and uh, I did get a card from it. Um, this I paid two pound for. Has been opened, so I need to give it a little test to see if it works. I'm so tempted to keep it because it could go in my Tom Hanks collection, really. That couldn't it be perfect for that? I think it's worth about 15 if I'm selling it. Uh, a pack of tarot cards, uh, The Secrets of Tarot. This was 50p. I think it's worth about a tenner. I wouldn't normally bother uh, for anything £10 or less, but I always pick up tarot just in case because sometimes. Uh, tarot can be worth a lot more than what you think, but sometimes like that one is not worth a lot at all. Now, this is a unexpected banger. This thing, Game Con, or Game Com. Um, it's like a little e electronic game touchscreen technology. Wow. With five built-in functions. This must have been pretty impressive. Tiger with touchscreen technology. Um, it's great that it's in its box because that gives it massive value as opposed to not in the box. Um, let me try and get it open because this, as it turns out, I didn't know at the time when I bought it, is worth now looking out for. A bolo, if you like. Um, it's got the thing in there. It's definitely been used. Uh, it needs a clean up. It's got the two cartridges. I hope everything is in here as it should be. It's got the pen as well, which I was panicking about a minute ago. 
but it is there. Anyway, paid £3 for this, and there is solds for £100 on eBay. A hundred quid for this. I've I've never seen one of these, never picked one up. But you see something like this and you think retro vintage gaming cool stuff still in box. <laughs> That's what goes through your head. And uh yeah, so I I'm going to say somewhere between 50 and 100 pound because that's where it's at. Uh but there is evidence of sold at 100 pound. So who knows? Could be a hundred quid. I got three pop figures for ten pound. A little bungle deal. I know you like love it when I say bungle. Uh, we've got Dobby, uh, Fennec Shand. Don't know who that is. Star Wars, and the Mandalorian thing here. Um, I think these are worth somewhere between eight and ten pound each. So I got all three for ten pound. These are prime for my whatnot channel. So I'll probably just bang them straight on there. Unless Belle has got a particular need for Dobby for a collection. She might do. Um, a set of three... Uh, these are classed as hand-drawn Star Wars mugs. That's the description. Hand-drawn, there you go. And it came with just one uh, coaster. Um, and that was £5. So I can't find this exact same set of mugs on eBay. So I'm going to estimate £20 to £30 on those. Uh, today's fail is BB-8. It's a fail, Chris. It's a fail. I paid £10 for it. What was I thinking? Uh, because it does turn on and it whizzes around the floor and stuff. Um, it's a fail, though. Let me turn it on. I mean, it's neat, isn't it? It's neat. But it's just not got the value. Um, £10 paid. If I'm lucky, I might get 20 for it. But I've got a feeling it's going to be less than that. I might actually just put it on whatnot. Um, you know, it could go for more than 20. It, you know, whatever it goes for, it goes for. But it is neat. And if you're a Star, Star Wars fan and you like little gadgets, it's all right for that. Um, but... Uh, as it happens, I don't think it's worth loads. So I'm classing that one as a failure just because if you spend £10 on something, you really want to be getting a minimum of 40 back, uh, even higher really in a lot of cases. But after you've done all your fees, all your work to list it, it's not really worth it. Uh, anyway, let's move on. We all have fails now and again. Uh, I've got this Panasonic CD player. Um, it needs a little bit of a clean. It's got like specks of paint or something on it. But I've seen it working in the hall and I paid a fiver for it. It's got the old style iPod connector thing here. And what did I pay? What did I say? Five pound paid. I think it's worth about 30 pound. Now that was everything I got at the tabletop, which wasn't bad considering there was probably about, I don't know, half a dozen stalls. But um, there wasn't much competition for me to buy. So that was good. Uh, now we stopped at a couple of charity shops in Colwyn Bay. And uh, I didn't get loads, but I did get two nice little items. I got this um, Michael Jackson T-shirt. Let me get it open for you. I can't find the exact same one on eBay. Um, it's not vintage as such, because I think it's celebrating his life. Yeah, from 2009 there. Um, and it's made by Fat Dog. It only cost me one fifty in the charity shop. Um, I'm going to guesstimate 20 to £30 pound on it. But could be way off the mark on that. But this thing is another little uh, bolo. I, I didn't even know what it was. I just saw it in a cabinet in the charity shop. £5 pound label on it. It's Dana by Alpha Smart. It is some kind of word processor. And that's about all I know. But what I did do is I had a quick scan on eBay. And these are selling like this, sort of unboxed, around the £50 mark. So I thought, yep, yeah, I'll have that. Five quid into 50. You know, it might go for less than that. might go for more. But early indications, £50. And that is your lot. Well, thanks everyone for watching. It was good to get out at a tabletop sale. We don't see many of those these days and uh, I'm going to look out for more in the future. Um, 
a fail in there, but it might turn out not to be a fail. We'll put it on whatnot probably and see uh, where the bidding goes with it. And um, some really interesting items and a couple of bolos. Now, um, thank you very much for watching. Just wanted to say that. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe. If you want to try either of the two videos you can see here next to my head, please give them a go. And, um, you know, go and binge yourself to death on Cookie and Hayden's. We'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.